Oh, didn't see you there. What's up, Rochachos? Tanner Weidman of TheBarbarianBody.com. Today's video, we're gonna be covering how to get some huge biceps. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so now that we've got the shirtless portion of the video out of the way, let's get into this. Now, the best way to train any muscle group is with a variety of different stimuli. That includes heavy weights, that includes lightweight, that includes high reps, low reps, strength and explosiveness, slower, higher time under tension exercises, and this is no different than with biceps. However, for the most part, when most guys go to train their biceps, they abide by one rule, just do bicep curls. That ain't gonna cut it, so today, I'm gonna give you the best blueprint for building those biceps as big as you possibly can. Firstly, when are you going to program your workouts for your biceps and how often should you do it? Now, for maximal results, you're going to want to train your biceps between two and three times per week. Now, if you're not planning to step on stage to do a bodybuilding shows, two times per week should be sufficient and give yourself 48 hours worth of rest in between each one of these workouts so your muscles can repair, recover, and ultimately, they can grow. So to begin our full-on assaults of the biceps, we're going to begin with more of a strength compound bicep exercise movement to begin the workout. And for this exercise, we're gonna be doing two sets of supine chin-ups. Now, you're not gonna do 10 reps or 12 reps or 15 reps. You're gonna do as many reps as you humanly can until you get to the point when you can no longer get a full repetition. This is gonna be your maximal effort portion of your bicep exercises, something that most guys tend to neglect when it comes to building their biceps. This will be great for strengthening the biceps and because the exercise is so demanding and will actually act Activate the bicep muscle fiber a lot more than other exercises. Now here's the most important thing. Once you perform as maximal amount of reps as you possibly can for those two sets, you need to track that number. You also need to track if you're gonna be using assistance such as with a resistance band, or even if you decide to add some weight onto your body with a weighted vest, you need to track that as well. Now, this is our strength portion. So what you're gonna do with those numbers is, next week when you revisit that workout and you do that exercise again, your goal is going to try to be to beat the numbers that you got the week previously. Now, before we go any further, I wanted to show you a super dope piece of home workout equipment that's guaranteed to help you to build muscle fast. And this, this is the X3 bar. Now, with all this COVID nonsense, lockdowns, and gyms closing, this equipment is absolutely a lifesaver. You've heard me say it before, one of the best reasons to use resistance band exercises in your training is due to the fact that the intensity increases as you get towards the peak of the movement. As the bands get stretched further, the rep gets more challenging, and this is something that simply isn't possible with dumbbells or even gym machines. In addition, just look at the variety of different exercises that you can perform with the X3 bar. You're giving Given multiple different bands, each with their own unique strength. And the bar? This is easily one of the highest quality bars I've come across. The bar is both lightweight and incredibly strong, not to mention the grip coating, which is absolutely A1. If you head to the link in my description and use code BARBARIAN at checkout, you'll get $50 off your order as well as free shipping. So if you're ready to level up your home workout game, the X3 bar might be up your alley. Again, head to the link in my description and use code BARBARIAN for $50 off. Now, let's get into the rest of the video. Now that we've gotten our exercise that's really going to significantly pre-fatigue our biceps and hit both heads, we're now going to start to get into more of the isolation exercises. The next area we're going to target here is going to be the outer head of the biceps as well as the brachialis. This is most likely the most underdeveloped area on your biceps as is the case with most men. Now what we're going to be doing here is sort of a burnout set of some dumbbell hammer curls. You're going to get between three to four sets of 10 to 12 repetitions so ensure that you're choosing the proper amount of weight. Now, when you're performing these exercises, please note, this is how you properly execute the exercise. There's no momentum, there's no cheat repetitions, there's no half repetitions. We're getting them as strictly as we possibly can. So the very last one to two repetitions should almost be at that point when you can no longer completely get a full rep. However, you do wanna leave one rep in the tank and that's gonna be for the burnout portion of the set. Now, directly after that last repetition of your set, you're gonna be performing some dumbbell hammer curl holds and you're gonna be performing an isometric squeeze for your maximum amount of time. So this could be anywhere from about 20 all the way up to about 60 seconds where you're holding the dumbbells in that strict position. Now because you're not actually performing any 
movement and it's just an isometric hold, this is what's gonna help you to actually hit the brachialis, the muscle that lies underneath of the bicep muscles. And this is actually a portion of the biceps that almost everybody neglects. And once you focus on this area of the arm, it'll actually help to push your biceps up and develop that height in the biceps so you can actually attempt to get a similar bicep height as Arnold Schwarzenegger without all the gear. Now I'm not guaranteeing you will be able to get that size, but doing this exercise at the end of every set of your hammer grip curls is really gonna add that extra demand that is really gonna help you to develop a lot bigger biceps. And for this exercise as well, I'd recommend that you track the exact amount of time that you got. So bust your phone out, set the timer, and try to push for as long as you can. Once you've gotten that time, track the time, track the weight, and next week when you revisit this exercise, try to add between two to five seconds on that time. Now that we've gotten the outer head taken care of, the final area to attack is going to be the inner head of the biceps. Now you could go about this by, you know, simply putting your arms in front of you and doing some bicep curls, and that would be effective, but I've got a trick that's actually gonna make the inner head work a lot more. And that's actually gonna be with some offset concentration curls. So you're able to see right here, this is the normal grip on a dumbbell, just straight up in the middle of the bar. Now, in order to hit our shorter head a little bit more, we're gonna offset that grip by bringing our index to the outer end of the dumbbell's grip. This causes more of the load to move over to the inner side of that dumbbell. So with that grip on the dumbbell, you're gonna position your elbow against your knee. Now, you're going to be adding in about two to three seconds on the negative. So you're gonna lower the dumbbell down for two to three seconds, get that nice slow stretch and a full stretch too. Once at the bottom, you're gonna contract the biceps as hard as you possibly can. Once you're at the top of the range, again going down for two to three seconds on the negative. As always, because we're doing these slower eccentrics, you're gonna increase time under tension and maximize those micro muscle tears that your body is then gonna to have to repair the next day so you can actually build muscle mass. So after completing 10 repetitions on the right, you're immediately gonna move on on over to the left arm and then perform 10 repetitions right there. After you're done both arms, take about a 30 second rest because your right arm was resting while you're performing your left arm exercise and then immediately jump back into 10 reps on the right, 10 reps on the left. In total, you're gonna wanna get yourself about three sets on both arms. And remember, for maximal results, you're gonna wanna train your biceps two times per week with 48 hours worth of rest in between each one of those workouts. And that concludes our guide on how to get some bigger biceps faster than ever before. So there you guys go, that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Hey, if you made it this far, then be sure to comment down below, orange Nike in the comments section so that I can see who made it this far. And also, if you made it this far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.